dad's passport. And it was good for only one year and only for the purpose of leaving. And also at that time already it had the large red J to identify you as Jewish. Herman, can you re repeat the sentence, this was my dad's passport? Yeah, this was my dad's. And also if you leaf through this a little bit, you see the little swastikas all over the place. We'll take pictures of it on the table. Okay, I'll, I'll give it a over the shoulder of it. Oh, wow. Got it? Yes. See, so this was him. And he was still fairly young. Got it. And the only other thing you might be interested in, uh, these are the papers we got about uh, their uh, my grandmother and and uh, and uh, and her daughter. Uh, there's a place in in Jerusalem called Yad Vashem, which has collected millions of these. But here's, for example, uh, my grandmother's, which. which says that she was, she came to Theresienstadt Ter on uh, July 23rd, 1942. And over here it says, survived, yes, Theresienstadt. And they are, this one is uh, my aunt's, which says she, came to the camp the same day, but survived, no. And this particular one, have you got the picture? Yes. This particular one says she was, she was sent to, to Auschwitz on June 10th, 1944. So pretty near the end of the war. Herman, have you ever been back? Have you ever gone back to Munich or? Yes, I, I went back, let's see, 40 years after, after we came, mainly uh, to show my wife, uh, you know, where all this happened. And she, she's from Ohio, she, she'd never been in Europe. And so she, we, we tried mainly in Munich, I showed her around, we found the place where I was born we didn't find the place where we lived because that, that had been bombed out. And uh, I took her to some of the other places. Uh, particularly interesting, I took her to the big museum in Munich, which among other things had a, uh, an aviation exhibit. The Deutsche Museum? That's, yeah, yeah, I've been there. That's and pretty cool. In the aviation exhibit, they had a German Messerschmitt 109, which was the big fighter plane. And the interesting part was it had the German Air Force insignia on it, and not the swastika, which they had during the war. There were years when they didn't really want to talk about anything. They just tried to make this a blank page in history. That's, that's changed to some extent. Uh, the, the children in the school uh, are told about the Holocaust now. Anything else? Any questions, Elizabeth? Anything else you want to?